Now husband will love us, now we they seduce. Husband will want us, husband will they try for us, now we go try seduce, okay? If you're here thinking that I'm going to tell you something that when you do, your husband will stop cheating on you, your husband will start loving and wanting you, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the wrong place, okay? Because the only way you can stop your husband from cheating on you is for you to divorce him, okay? So that when he's sleeping with other girls, it is no longer considered as cheating. Because anything aside that, you are only wasting your time. Another disclaimer, the primary purpose or the primary person who is supposed to benefit from this video is you as a woman, okay? This video is meant for you as a woman to do what you can to get what you want, okay? So it is supposed to benefit you first, right? But in the process, I mean, we are dealing with our husbands who love us and we love, they are also going to benefit in the process, right? So if you're one of those women who you don't want to hear anything about men benefiting in relationships or about doing anything to please a man or about doing anything that will make a man happy, if you're one of those women that you used to pepper, that when you hear it, you go on Twitter and start calling people patriarchy princess, eh, pick me, eh, weak, eh, this one. If you're one of those women, just click off because you're going to be angry. <laughs> You are going to be vexed. Your wickedness, not your wicked spirit is going to be vexed by the pleasantness that we are bringing today, okay? So, if, if you know that such things used to prepare your spirit, please click off oh, because you're going to be angry and I'm going to even say more next time, okay? And then the last thing, is not a disclaimer, but yeah, don't watch this video with your partners. Don't worry, I have blocked all the men on this channel. <laughs> We don't want them to know these things, okay? These are things that we want to be doing underground. Because you don't want tomorrow when you're trying one of these things that he's not like, ah, I, I heard it on a DJ space that people are going to be doing this, okay? So yeah, before we get into it, if you're new on my channel, hi, you're welcome. My name is Adeze. Please click on the subscribe button, okay, to join the family. I make videos about lifestyle, about motherhood, about womanhood, love, relationships, and all of that stuff, okay? All of that good stuff. <laughs> also, I now have membership on my channel. Yay! So I have two levels of membership. You guys should just check it out and you can join the channel and become a member. Anyway, yeah, so um, also follow me on Instagram. People used to forget Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram, please. I'm trying to grow my Instagram, my Instagram page, okay? So please follow me on Instagram. So first, I've talked too much. The first thing that you need to do to seduce your husbands, okay? Now, I'm talking about relationships that, you know, are okay. You guys are good. They're not having relationship problems. But, you know, somehow, somehow, see finish has entered. Somehow, somehow, you know, the, the problems of this world, okay? The weight of the world is now on your shoulders. And you guys are now considering yourselves as more like housemates. You are now papa this and mama this. You're no longer lovers. You're no longer, you know, baby girl and baby boy, okay? So, you need to... You to rekindle that spirit, okay? And as a woman, most times the, it, it falls on us because husbands, like I always say, they are always going to smash, they are always going to finish, right? But we, most times, we want more than just sex. We want intimacy, we want love, we want relationship, we want, you know, a happy, you know, emotional environment, anything like that, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is to stop complaining. See, I understand you, sis. I understand you. I know why you're complaining. We all do these things, okay? I know why we all complain most of the time, and that is because these men don't change. They hardly change. They are always stuck in their ways. You are trying to make them do things a different way, but they keep doing it the same way over and over again. I understand that. That is why, you know, most times we see ourselves complaining. Sometimes we even start nagging. I'm guilty, all of us are guilty about guilty of it, or most of us are guilty of it, right? So yeah, in a bit to try and make the atmosphere more romantic, more welcoming, to try and seduce your husband, to try and make him, you know, give you what you want, okay? Keep him excited, let us try and stop complaining too much. I'm not saying don't complain, no. I'm not saying don't even complain at all, I'm just saying that when you want to, you know, get in that spirit. Because sometimes it's necessary to just complain and be going. But when you want to get in that spirit, try and reduce, you know, the number of times or the way you complain. Because to be honest, let's be frank, even if the roles were reversed and your husband was always complaining about the same thing over and over again, it's going to put you off, especially when it's something that you really cannot change or it's something that is a character flaw or a behavioral pattern or a character, you know, it's your personality and your husband is complaining about it over and over and over and over again, it's going to put you off. So these things actually put these men off. We know that's why we do it, right? To put them aside, they will change. But they don't change. Anyway, when he's doing those things that are annoying your spirit, okay, leave the scene, go and talk to your girls, go and talk to somebody, your family, friends, whoever it is that you can talk to to let off that steam, okay? Because sometimes while we complain because we're trying to let off steam, 
go and complain to your baby girls okay don't complain to your husband just allow him you can address things that you want to address but don't complain about it you guys know the difference there's a difference between sitting him down and saying baby see you this is i don't like this thing you did or i don't like what you're doing please change there's a difference between that and going you refuse to change everything and like this <laughs> start, talk, talk, talk. start bringing up all the past histories the future the present <laughs> Please just reduce it, okay? Now, the next one is to give him space, okay? I know it might sound counterintuitive, like you want him to be, you know, you want him to be, you know, more attracted to you. So why are you giving him space? Let me tell you something about human beings in general, okay? Men especially, but human beings in general, human beings like mystery. That's why even girls love bad boys. They love bad boys who are treating them anyhow because there's that excitement of... I don't know how to explain. This is a very weird human behavior. Like, it doesn't really make sense, but it makes sense, okay? That thing which is kind of far or unattainable or distant is what we want more. But that thing that is always in our face, in our spaces, you know, that we see more of, see finish always enters. So, we don't appreciate it as much, okay? So, try and give your husband space. Try and do your own thing. Let him do his own thing. You know, it's easy, especially when we're in love with our partners. I mean, many of us that are married, you know, we love our partners, they love us as well. Everything you want to tell your husband. I'm, not, I'm one of those people, Sha. I always want to tell my husband almost everything. Not everything, but almost everything. I want to just point out. Like, I'll just be telling him, telling him. <laughs> you guys, I used to come out on the phone when he's at work to complain about the, the stupidest things. And I know it's the stupidest things, but I want to tell him, okay? So, yes, just try and resist, resist that urge, okay? Resist the urge to be in your husband's space all the time anywhere he's going you want to know where he's going you want to know what he's doing you want to know who he's talking to you want to know who's on the phone you want to, blah, blah, blah. You want to check his phone you want to check like it's too much okay allow him to do his own thing do your own thing have fun have your own friends go to different places you know go out on your own do things on your own you don't have to do everything you and your husband everything is unco you don't have to do unco with your husband all the time we know you're married to him we get it okay you don't have to be posting your husband all the time because it, that thing too is still part of not giving him space every time you are putting your phone in his face even about being mysterious in general you can just be on your own just having fun on your own just smiling and laughing singing to yourself and you're gonna be wondering why is this woman so excited like what's what's going on like he'll be he'll be more interested like what's going on why is she so excited why is she so happy why is she prancing around bouncing around why is there a skip to her in her step why is she you know shoulders up feeling cool what is it like come tell me what is it what's going on with you okay he would naturally be drawn towards you he'll naturally want to get a taste of what is making you happy, okay? He'll even be, especially when he's a man that you've been so clingy to before, he'll not be like, ah, this woman is happy without me. What is making her happy? He'll become, maybe not jealous, but you know, may, yeah, maybe jealous actually. He'll be like, ah, what's going on? Without me, she's actually having so much fun. Actually, you know, being this happy. I need to know the secret, okay? It actually draw him towards you. So try and be more mysterious. And the next one is dress nicely for yourself, okay? I'm not one of those women who will say, when you're at home, you have to have lip gloss on. You have to have your hair made. You have to have your this. <laughs> even though I follow one of them on, on Instagram, Obisora, I love her so much, okay? Yes, even though I follow her, I, was one of, she's one of those people I live vicariously through, okay? Like, I like looking at her and the kind of things she does and the kind of things she says, even though I don't do them in my life, okay? So, I will not say I dress very well 247, but I'm saying that whenever you want to really, like I said, get things going with your husband, try and dress well for yourself if you watch my last video i told you about how sometimes when you don't feel good about yourself it affects your sex life not even because of what your husband would think or what your husband would say but in yourself you just don't feel that good you know it affects your sex life so the same way I'm, i was first to put on the fan yeah so when you dress sultry you dress sexy it's not even just about dressing it's about your your overall aura right like when you're just I don't want to start showing myself on this internet. <laughs> you people are tempting me to show myself. You're just sexy with yourself, right? It tends to attract them to you, right? I'm talking about your husbands now, okay? I'm not talking about all the men in general. I'm talking about your husband, so please. You know, your husbands, I mean in the house, right? Right? You know what your husband likes, okay? You know what he likes to see you in. If you don't know, go and ask. If you've not asked, I don't know why you've not asked, but if you don't know what your husband likes to see you in, go and ask him, okay? And go and get those things. It will not kill you to try and do things the way your husband wants you to do them. You will not die, okay? You will, <laughs> trust me, you will not die. You actually get more of what you want by just giving him a little of what he wants, okay? Based on what your husband likes, but try and buy some of those outfits and wear them around the house. And like I said, wear it 
Like you're wearing it for yourself. Don't wait and come and be saying, I'm coming to his front and be doing like this so that you know they're trying to seduce him. No, just wait and just go about your business normally and he'll be he'll be interested, okay? Now the next one, which is actually related to what I just talked about, trust me, I am the champion of this, okay? Hype yourself. Praise yourself. Hype yourself. When I say hype yourself, I mean hype yourself. Let me give you an example, okay? <laughs> While I was doing, I just finished doing my makeup and I was trying to set up the camera to film. My husband came into into this, you know, came into my office and was, you know, gisting me about something. And while he was talking, I thought to myself, ah, Omo, this girl is so fine. Omo, just just look at your wife in the picture. I was like, sometimes I wish I was a man so that I would come and snatch myself from you. Like, <laughs> I'm sure he'd just be like, what 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 is going on here? I was like, yeah, like if I was a man, I wish I, I wish I could just be a man so that I could just come and snatch me from you, okay? Because I'm just too hot. I'm just too beautiful. Like, just take a look at this. Just take a look at this baby girl for life, okay? Anyway, it might sound funny. It might sound ridiculous, but it actually works, okay? It is psycholog psychologically, when you hype yourself so much, one thing it tells your husband is that, first of all, you're very confident in yourself. And I say this a lot about human beings in general, not just even your, your partners. In general, when you are a very confident person when you exude confidence when you believe in yourself when you love yourself when you hype yourself when you are just like nobody can come out like i always say this thing that in my head though in my head i don't walk around that way but in my head i'm the most beautiful thing to walk on this earth aside my kids right <laughs> I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm all that plus more. Like, I'm all that plus more. I always say that nobody can come and tell me they're finer than me. Anything you want to say, that you want to use and say, oh, I'm finer than you because I have this. I will give you, like, three other things that I have that you don't have. And I'm, I'm, that makes me finer. Okay, so... Because at the end of the day, one thing that many people don't realize is that sometimes you are actually living in the best moment of your life. As in, you actually look the best you're ever going to look. Let me put it that way, okay? So, for instance, when some of us were like 19, 20, we felt like, oh my God, I'm so fat, I'm so chubby, I can't dress like this, I can't dress like that. When you now entered your 30s, you now realize that, ah, that time you're not actually fat too. In fact, <laughs> your fat was still loaded. People like me, my fat was still loaded then, but I did not know it, okay? So, at each point in time, make it a point of duty to remind yourself that you are actually beautiful just the way you are yes you can improve yes you can try and lose weight you can try and you know get hotter but you're not ugly yeah so psychologically when you hype yourself i mean like physically externally hype yourself i'm not talking about oh in my head i believe no when you actually say it it helps you even believe it even more right and because it helps you believe it even more you start acting like what you believe and then because you start acting like what you believe you actually exude that thing that you believe that you have and then people start seeing it okay there are some people that you see here uh, you know for a fact that they're not they are not conventionally beautiful but the way they carry themselves makes them beautiful i don't know if you know somebody like that conventionally they're not as beautiful as you know they are hyped up to be but somehow because of the hype you start seeing them that way right so it is, it is that way with you personally as a person you start seeing yourself in a more beautiful light and others as well start seeing in a more beautiful light and it attracts others to you okay there's nothing as discouraging for me personally i get repelled or irritated by people who have low self-esteem for me it's a turn off when i come in contact with women or even people in general who have low self-esteem or who are not comfort comfortable in their own skin like even when they take pictures i can see i don't know I, I, you guys get the point so hype yourself okay so the next one now is to take charge in the bedroom if you watch my last video about why your sex life is boring if you've not watched it i'm going to link it down below but if you've watched it then you know what i mean okay because there's nothing more appealing to a man than when a woman is taking charge right mostly because they are used to taking charge they are used to being the ones doing the all the work so it is more interesting to them when you decide to take charge when you decide to show that you're actually enjoying it and you actually want it and you actually want more of it most women are used to wanting a man but pretending like you're not interested you know so whenever a woman acts like she really wants them that's why i say men are very cheap okay they are very cheap i'm sorry but men are very cheap if you just act like you want them they are they'll just be free <laughs> In fact, you can even see a man that normally lasts one hour, but the moment the woman decides to take charge, two minutes, everything has, has, has ended. Two minutes, it's over, he'll start snoring. <laughs> That's because it is more appealing to them when a woman takes charge. And then the last but not the least is for you to be fun and flirty, okay? Be fun and flirty. Be fun and flirty. Some of you are so stuck up. 
you are so weighed down by the issues of the world. Every time they are, you are complaining about one thing or the other, it's not even just about complaining about your husband's behavior or your, or your husband's you know, character or whatever. It's complaining about everything. This shoe is here. Oh, why is this shoe here? This shoe, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are always keeping shoes here. You're complaining about your husband. You're complaining about your children. You're complaining about your, your partner, whoever it is, your friends. You are always complaining. Every time you are complaining about something or the other, you don't even, you're not a solution finder. You're not even thinking about solution. You're not even thinking about how to make things better. You're not organized. You're not nothing. All you want to do is just be complaining from morning till night. You know, when someone tries to be fun with you, you are stuck up, you're, like, you're angry, you're pissed off, you're irritated, you're not flirty, you don't know how to hype your partner, you don't know how to seduce your partner with your words, you don't know how to um, praise your partner, okay? Some people don't know how to praise their partner. It's, 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 it's mutual, right? It's mutual. Like, he praises me, I praise him. So, the only thing I say about my husband here that in my head I'm cringing, but I just say it. <laughs> You know, praise your partner. When they do something nice, appreciate them. When they look nice, appreciate them. Sometimes I just purposely appreciate my husband. I'll be like, ah, this one you're dressed like this now. Wow, who are you? Who are you going to see there? Who is okay? Or sometimes you go out and come back. I'll be like, okay. So how many people collected your number? How many people we are asking you? You know, what's up? How many girls were were, were flocking around you? I say these things not because I really believe that oh, when he went out there, girls were just flocking around him. But I just say so he will know that. Oh, I'm seeing him as a catch. I'm seeing him as hot cake that when he goes out there, you know, everybody is flocking towards him. <laughs> you know? And in turn, because I say this is and he feels like I'm gassing him up and he feels, oh, this woman really likes me. In turn, he starts getting attracted to me even more, okay? Yeah, I don't know if you guys can relate, but sometimes there's a way I'll just do all these things that I said and I'll ask my husband for something and he'll just give it to me sharp, sharp, you know, and I'm like, it's not the same man that before was saying no, 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 no. You know, the moment I now ask him for that thing, after I have done some of this, after I've pressed some of these buttons, the moment I make my request, the moment I ask him for certain things, the moment I tell him to do certain things for me, he's very quick to do them. In fact, sometimes even before I even make my request, when I have done some of these things, before I even ask for some things, I'm already, I'm already seeing them getting done. I'm already seeing him buying them. I'm already seeing him, you know, doing those things for me. And I'm like, oh, so he's working. All right, sounds good. <laughs> We're happy, we're getting what we want, you know. And then shortly after, I go back to my default setting of being annoying. But anyway, anyway, that's it for today's video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know if you learned a thing or two. Like I said, I'm going to be doing more videos like this. So let me get your feedback in the comment section. And then I have two levels of membership. So if you get the higher one, you can actually send me your request personally. Like my email, you send me your video request or your unique dilemma. Like if you have a unique dilemma or a unique situation that you want me to come and discuss on my channel so that those who watch my video as well can comment on it even after I have given my own feedback then you can join my membership and then when you join it that's the the second level star two so when you join star two membership you can send in your request and then i'll make a video about it give you my two cents and then throw it open to people so you can now read the comment section and hear more about what people have to say and you know so that you can make your own informed decision right and yeah thank you so much to everyone who supports me even if you don't join my membership even if it's just to watch my videos and comment and like the video it's enough okay okay thank you